Hi guys, so today we're just gonna paint these little cherries. So let's get started. Okay, here's our supplies for today. A regular pencil that I sharpened. This is a little kneaded eraser. I have got a Winsor & Newton size 10 round watercolor brush. These are my watercolor paints, just a simple set and I can link them below. Um, I have water, I have a towel, and then this is a uh, Canson 140 pound cold press watercolor paper that I cut into three inch squares. So I just took a big sheet of paper and cut it so that I had these little ones just to use for today. Um, so here we are. The first thing we're gonna do is get out our pencil and our eraser and we're gonna sketch together. And the thing that's the most important is just to press lightly on your pencil. Like that's really the most important thing. That way you can easily erase if you don't like it. And I just wanna show you that this is basically the size of a quarter. See that? So for scale, if that's helpful, go ahead and grab a quarter. And we're gonna do two circles that sort of overlap each other. So kind of over here and towards the bottom corner. Um, here's a circle and you're just, since you're pressing so lightly, if you don't like it, you're just gonna quick change it, no big deal. Here's another circle and I want them to be about the same size. See this one's up a little higher and if it's helpful to just kind of continue that to make sure it looks like an actual circle, go for it and then you'll just erase the part that went through that front shape. And now we're gonna do, let's put a dot up here where we want it to go and we're gonna make a curve that kind of comes down into the top center of the cherries. So let's put a little smiley face and a smiley face, and then it's gonna go a big smiley face curve up to the point. Same thing again, smiley face down to here. And see, we've got two cherries, we're good to go. If you don't like anything, this is when you're gonna erase it or adjust it. Otherwise, we're done with our sketch. From here, we're gonna get our paints ready. So I'm dipping my brush into the water and you see I already have some puddles here, but I wanna make them together. So we're going to um, get your brush wet and grab a little bit of red. And we want a puddle here that's sort of a medium to light color. So I just added more water to that puddle and now see how light it is. And then we've got a couple other little tiny puddles here that we can add into it, but these ones we don't want to have very much water. So let's make them again. This one, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that red paint and do you see this? I don't want much water. Okay, it's just a tiny little puddle. It's shiny, it's reflective. You can see that there's a little bit of water into it. And then this one here, we want to be a dark red. So you see I'm grabbing some red paint and a little bit of green. I came down here, can you see it? See this right here, this green, and we're adding it into it. Now the green will take over fast, but the value in it is that you're gonna get this really nice, deep, dark color that you can use for sort of the shadow part of our cherry. So now we've got this ready to go. I'm gonna clean my brush. Let's move this out of the way. Cleaned my brush. Now I'm gonna take my brush um, and maybe, maybe I'll just dip the tip of my brush into my water and I'm gonna grab this lightest color this up so you can see it okay and then we're gonna fill in one cherry first just one if we did both at the same time our colors would bleed together and we want a little bit more control than that so I'm gonna take this using the tip of my brush around the edges I'm gonna actually save a little bit of highlight by not putting paint on the paper right under that smiley face so I'll go above it you see this fill in the whole thing I want this whole thing to be wet at the same time so notice I didn't go really like um, with the tip of my brush, I didn't go slowly. I just sort of efficiently filled in this color. And then now I'm not gonna add water to my brush, but I'm gonna take from these little tiny puddles. Let's grab this red color. We'll add some of that. And do you see, I wanna just sort of touch it and let the water pull that paint. Let me get a little closer. Then I'll get into this darker puddle that we made as well. There we go. And I'm gonna to touch that right to sort of this bottom right corner and that's gonna give us like some nice, really dark depth. Now, while it's wet, you can play and you could add in any color. And just to show that, I'm gonna grab this yellow right here. Barely any water, but just some paint. I'm gonna to touch it here so you can see what happens. You've got freedom while it's wet. This is the wet on wet process. Now though, let's leave this and we're gonna give it a quick dry. So all I did was use this little heat gun it's a Chandler tool, apparently. It's kind of like a hair dryer, and if you're at home and you have a hair dryer, that works great too. 
Now we're gonna get into the next cherry, same process. So I'm grabbing some of that pink. I want to have control. So I want enough water to spread it around, but if it, oh, I almost forgot a highlight. Let's leave a tiny one there. So we're gonna fill in this whole cherry. And do you see, you can see some water here. We want that because we want this next color to be able to kind of move around. So I'm touching it. I touched that darker color touch it to the bottom and let it, the water kind of pull the paint. We'll do a little bit more up here. Now remember it's still wet so we can play and since we did yellow already I guess we're gonna do a little bit of yellow. Let's we'll touch yellow to it and remember we don't want to blend it ourselves. We kind of want to see that watercolor pull so I'm gonna dry this one. Do you see how we have a little bit of a hard line in here? If this happens, you can clean out your brush, dry your brush, and you'll know that it's still a tiny bit wet. And you can actually just take it and go just over that line a little bit. Barely any water on your brush and it'll soften that right up. Okay, so now let's get into the stem and I'm just gonna take a green of some sort. Um, I'll do this one, I've got one already on here. I'll just mix a couple. I'm just using the tip of my brush. Here, I'll grab one from there. Tip of my brush, I want a really small puddle. So do you see how, like if I were to take it from right here, I've got plenty. And then I'm gonna just run it along this line. So to get the skinniest um, point on your brush, you're gonna tip your brush vertically and then it's do very little pressure to get this skinny little line. And you can refresh, get back into your paint if you need to so it doesn't fade. We're gonna come all the way down here. You can go over it one more time if you wanted to make it a little bit darker. We got our stems painted, we got our cherries painted. Let's do one last thing. If you were to grab the littlest bit of black and add some water to it, see this right here? little bit of water to it we can give them this little shadow like we see in the one above and we're just gonna kind of put it under and to the right so we'll do one here one here we'll dry it and we're all done well you did it you can tell the one we just did is a little bit lighter than this one and so if you wanted to get your colors richer just get into there do it one more time it's just a little piece of paper right if you are interested in um, another painting that includes a bunch of strawberries, you can find this one at AudreyShantsArt.com.